Hi guys, Linda here. I am finishing up my tag for the 52 tags handmade and it was yo-yo so I did the yo-yo and I just took a bunch of different scrap fabrics and put it down there and put a ribbon and then did some daisy chain and some um, French knots and some more of those little, not daisy chain, daisy stitch, I don't know, some X's, just kind of fun stuff. And then I want to put a charm on it and I have a little um, butterfly because I just thought it needed a butterfly. So I want to sew that on there. And then I did a little shopping, so I want to share that. And I want to blame it on Felicia. <laughs> I'm so bad. I, I can't watch those haul videos. Just, this is the way I've always kept my um, embroidery floss. Just because I don't, it, when I used to do it, um, when I used to do a lot of cross stitch, um, I just like the way you could write the number on here and I could set it up each time I did a project. So that's the way, and that's probably still in there from the 80s. So that's why the bags look kind of old and dilapidated, but I just thought I'd share that. And now I want to get a couple of these gray ones just to tie on the, the little butterfly. Let's see if I can get this threaded without a threader. I can. Hmm. Imagine that. All right, so I already have it sewn onto the tag. And I just want to add a little butterfly up here. I better put a little knot in here. So Felicia was doing some shopping at scrapbook.com and she got some of her favorite um, simple story stuff. And oh gosh, I thought that was really cute but I needed some more cat stuff for my cat books. I don't know, sometimes I think I shouldn't make so many <laughs> of the same thing, but you know, they're different. Let's see, do I want him kind of floating around? Then I should have put him on a chain, huh? We'll just sew them tight. So last night I was going to video this, but I was in my chair with my robe and my kitty on my lap, just relaxing, watching a show. And I thought that was a great way to do my stitching. And there wasn't anything except making the yo-yo that you know, I haven't done before. Um, the yo-yos are a neat thing to make. I don't have my, I, you know, I worked to try to get all these just right, but they're very similar to the hexagons. I don't know, I wouldn't say they're easier. <laughs> Maybe a little, I don't know, depending on how big you cut the circle. And I use my favorite thing, circle die cutter. I think it was a four inch one. Yeah, it was four inch to cut the circle. We're supposed to have rain today, so I'm hoping I get a whole day in my craft room and no walk, but <laughs> it's not raining yet and I probably should go for my walk, but We'll see. I, I think I should take a day off once in a while from walking, don't you? <laughs> but it's just so easy, so easy to get out of the habit. Things that are good for you. 
I'm having a hard time getting that knot down where I want it. Did I get down? Plus, this um, fabric or something, or the, I don't know. It just, there we go, we'll do this kind of knot. It just, uh, the knot just pulls through, so I have to be very careful. All right. Okay, so that is my tag. And I think it turned out kind of fun. You know how to put these back in this bag. See, this bag doesn't have a number on it, so it has whatever in it. But I, I like this because I can just shove it in there. <laughs> and, um, you know, I can see what's in each bag, and it keeps them relatively clean and untangled. So that works for me. All right, now the shopping. Oh, wait, I should put that on the ring. Here's the ring. I did, I did buy some of those of oh, these, and um, Felicia was using these, and I wasn't sure which size to get, so these are six inch, and they're really cool. You, you go like this, and then um, push this part down. Wait. Maybe you go this way. Yeah, you go this way. And then it just screws on there. It's so nice. I really, really like these. But I need a much bigger one than this. So I'm wondering, this is 6 inch. I wonder if they make them in 12 inch. I'll have to look and see. But I have a whole bag full of 6 inch ones. <laughs> I was thinking they might work for a book or a journal too. So that could be fun. Okay, so... I'm going to add the tag. Oh, I got to write on the back first. Well, I'll do that off camera. But it, it they are really getting to be fun to look at. Anything you do like this once a week is just so much fun. And the prompts really help. All right, what I bought. I did buy some simple stories, just so you know, Felicia. And, and these are amazing all these pretty flowers and I love birds and butterflies. I can't remember if Felicia said she wasn't into the birds, but I think that's going to be a lot of fun to add to my Rolodex cards. And then of course I had to buy some kitty stuff and this is just loaded. It has 88 die cuts. The only ones I don't understand are the milk because you really shouldn't give a cat milk. They get kind of for milk. Anyway, so then there's this really cute kitty cat paper, and the part I love about it is it has these little teeny tiny words, and I thought they would be fun to add to stuff. Let's see, what did I I did something with a couple of them. Okay, yeah. So the little tiny words I put on um, this little tag punch that I have from Stamping Up that is so little that what are you going to do with it? Yeah, well, I found finally found something. And, you know, I could cut out the kitties. Even though they have the words next to them, it'd be kind of cute just to put it next to them on a page or something. So I will be using those kitties for that. But it's also two-sided, so um, the words on the back here are pretty cool, too. So that's one of the papers. There's another one. Oh, I'm finding these die cuts that I pulled out from the kitty cow. And so I think that's cute, but that's really cute. Cutesy cat paper. There's another one. These are Echo Park. Oh, this one's Bella. This one's um, Echo Park. This is Echo Park, too. <laughs> they just make me laugh. Look at this one. This is Bella again. <laughs> Come on, they are just so cute. I got two of those, and that's the other side. So that's nice that it's got two sides. Then I found, I was looking, and I saw this paper. It's 49th and Market. Oh, my goodness. See, this I really love. Look at the other side of it so pretty. I got two of those. Then I thought, oh, I should get some St. Patrick. Oh, look at the other side of that one. Then I thought, oh, I should get some St. Patrick's Day paper. So this is what I got. 
because I really didn't have any. And I might need to make a few of those cards. Then, that same collection, I got this. And did I get a... Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay. So, um, 49th Street Market has for each of six double-sided paper. This is six by eight. So, that's going to be... Hmm. That might work in my journals. We'll see. But... This is just so pretty. There's four sheets of each one, and it's really sturdy. I mean, it's definitely like a page. Okay, that's one. Here's the next one, and this must be one of the ones I had, the big one that I have 12 by 12 of. And I think this is the other one I have 12 by 12 of, yeah. So that's that one. And that one's so pretty. And there's this one. Oh, look at that. I just love the two sided of it. I'm gonna need to buy. <laughs> well, you know, this might even be too thick to fold into those little tea bags. We'll have to see. Oh, the butterflies. So this is the other, oh, is that right? Yeah, that's the other side of the butterflies. The back sides are just as pretty. Then there's this one. Oh, this is the back cover. And that could be used. So then these are die cuts. These are all like, you know, punch out die cuts. So there's two of these and two of those. And this is what the backs of those look like. But isn't that cool? And then these are called journaling journaling card strips, I think. And they're two-sided, too. Everything is fine when you're in the sunshine. It's a beautiful new day. Make the most of it. I mean, it just. And then the other side of it looks like that. Okay, so the printed side is the plain one. Very cool. And then these are the journaling cards. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness, so pretty. All right, so let's see. Is that all that I purchased? I, it seems like I'm purchasing something every day, every time I watch someone's video. But yep, I think that's it for now. So that is my 52 tags, handmade, and a haul. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.